Fine. I'll play the Haley pregnancy mod. Yes, you heard that right. There's a mod that makes Haley pregnant. And while it sounds degenerate, trust me, it's more wholesome than you think. In this mod, Haley battles with the fact that her parents aren't around for their grandkid, her uncertainty to becoming a mother, and a falling out with Emily that is pure soap opera drama. And trust me, you'll want to see how it ends. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy this wild ride of a mod. Chat, welcome into Haley Prig Farm. Yes, that's what we actually called it. Uh, I decided to give their house a little bit of a Haley makeover if we're going to be having a child, and we've already married her because I have the assumption that the storyline will start once she's actually pregnant. So, you know, <laughs> I got to get to work. But before we do that, I want to give you a house tour because I was actually quite proud of this. This is the bedroom. This is our little seating area, computer. Uh, I think this is like sort of playing cards and stuff. This is my corner of the bed because this is my Haley shrine. This is her corner because this is her photo area with her bunny. This is the dining. This is the lounge. Nice like open plan living for my girl. This is the camera area. So this is her studio. I gave her a little studio setup with a camera, which I assume that's what she's working on now. And this is the baby's room. So it's got a little toy section, crib with some of mum's photos are going to be up there. Uh, Haley walking through the area. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, I'm actually quite like, like Haley's like getting the, the toys checked and stuff. The camera next to the bed. Uh, you know, gonna keep the kind of keep a video for the baby's 21st birthday, you know? <laughs> we didn't know about the night it was conceived. That's so wrong. I'm sorry. I guess to actually start the storyline, can't believe I have to say these words. I guess we have to get Haley pregnant. So, Haley, get into this bed. Ayo nasty? It's literally a Haley pregnancy mod. What do you want from me? Oh, should we have a baby, Nino? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, Jesus, she's coming over. No, oh, oh okay. Oh, I thought we were going to see it happen. I thought a new addition for the mod. What? Is this what happens when women get pregnant? They, they develop superpowers? I always knew they were hiding something from us. What the fuck? Why is she running around so much? Why is she so fast? I just feel like sleeping today. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I that bad? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, she's having mood swings. That was quick. I don't think the mood swings started until like a couple of weeks in. Does she have just like a bunch of random dialogue that talks about her being pregnant? Hey, I made you this egg. Will this help? Oh, thanks, honey. You always try to cheer me up. Oh, yes, I do. Did you see that la last night's episode of Tears? Sob, I can't believe Kyle and Amy broke up. Okay, so we've gone from pissed off because she couldn't sleep well to happy and appreciative that I got I gave her an egg to sobbing because of an episode of Tears that she watched last night. I think she might be pregnant. All right, next morning. I want to see if she says anything else. Oh, never mind. She's not even in the house. Oh, there she is. What the fuck? Oh my God, the baby bump came in already. Darling, come quick the baby is kicking can you feel it what now we're two days in and she's she's nine months deep this is kind of cute kind of makes me feel like things are getting a little bit real now i didn't expect her to be pregnant so quick so quickly huh i think we need to go in here when wait are people gonna congratulate me for like being pregnant no Haley being pregnant i don't have time to chat with you all right not appreciative shane i understand do you think he's upset that he's not gonna be the father looks like a good day to play catch huh i don't you throw balls, but you don't really look like the sporty types. Ah, uh, okay. All right, he doesn't care. I guess maybe they don't know yet. First cutscene. <gasps> She's telling Emily. Hi, sweetie. Hi, gorgeous. Nino. Haley just told me the wonderful news. I'm gonna be an auntie. Oh, dude. Emily's gonna be the coolest auntie ever. We are so happy. Yeah, happy. Happy. We're happy. I'm gonna be a father. I wish mom and dad were here to tell them the news. Yeah, me too. And how are you feeling, Haley? Oh, I am having these big pink cake cravings. What, my egg wasn't good enough? Thankfully, Nino always knows exactly what I need. <laughs> An egg. Haley, you need to eat healthy for the baby oh damn emily okay not not your child uh, i know you don't have to tell me i'm not a little girl anymore whoa okay so there's like tensions between the two of them Haley's pissed already emily stay out of it nino please ensure that she eats appropriately this is also for your child she is eating very well she knows what's best for her and the baby emily like you know I i'm sure we can look after our own child see sister 
Yeah! Happy wife, happy life. But anyway, okay, we're moving on. What has Harvey said? Oh, uh, I have an appointment tomorrow with him. Oh, an appointment tomorrow? Okay, do we need to be there for that? That's great. Can I come with you? No. No, I feel like that should be for me and my wife. You can, like, wait in the waiting room or something, but no. Uh, I don't know. All right, so we're both kind of, like, me and Nina, we're on the same wavelength. The, the, this might be kind of a little weird. Nino will be there with me. Is it necessary for you to come along as well? Please, Haley. I worry for you. Becoming a mother is not easy. I think Emily's gonna try kidnap my child. Acting like Emily's been a mother too? Like, yeah, Emily, how would you know? <laughs> She's like, who do you think? Mother Jess. Okay, fine. Whoa. Whoa, 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 what the hell? I didn't agree to this. The appointment is at 11 in the morning? Thanks, sis. Did we just get pressured into her coming along to our first baby checkup? Emily cares deeply for her younger sister since she'll join us tomorrow. I still can't believe that I'm going to be an auntie. I still can't believe that you're just forcing your way into this very important doctor's appointment. No, no, listen, I'm being harsh on Emily. I like Emily. I'm being harsh on her. She's just a concerned sister and a future auntie. If she's waiting out in the waiting room. Sure, that's okay. I'm happy with that. This baby will change our lives. A and I don't like change. Me the Haley. Let's go to Harvey's for a different kind of appointment. I'm with you. I'm on the same page. I I'm, I'm glad you said it before me. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm very happy. It's a conflicted feeling. Uh oh. My, sorry. It's 11. Let's go to Harvey's and see if Emily is in here. No, why is she in the doctor's room? Well, the baby is developing fine. Okay, that's good. That's that's good. No, no, sorry. I'm just gonna ignore that there is another person in here in this very intimate doctor's appointment. So is everything all right, doctor? I see no reason for concern, Haley. Yay, that's actually good. Oh, that's nice. See, sister? I told you it was going to be okay. I, I'm not liking why Emily is so involved with this. I have a feeling she's gonna, like, kidnap our child and make it, like, her protege or something. That doesn't mean you don't have to be careful. Dude, Emily, you need to back the fuck off of my pregnant wife. Haha, -ha, you have a sister and a spouse who you love you and care a lot for you, Haley. Yeah, but look, she's sad. I wish she stopped treating me like a little girl. I can be responsible too. I hope so. We've got kids coming along. Well, Haley, since this is your first pregnancy, my medical advice for you is that you take it easy. Food cravings, Nino. Those are normal. Wait, if his medical advice is that to take it easy. On the, like, second or third baby, is he just like, yeah, you can do a marathon. Yeah, go over it. Nah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, take up CrossFit. It'll be great. I am having all these cravings for sweet food. There's nothing wrong with occasional indulging in a craving, but you must also eat healthy food. But I, I don't like healthy food. She's so real for that. Actually, what a queen. Haley, please listen to Dr. Harvey. She liked the egg I got her. And also don't drink any alcohol. Why would anyone get pregnant? The nine months of hell. What was that, Nino? Any other effects? Well, sure, you'll probably notice that Haley's chase have changed. Pregnancy has considerable effects on the mother's body. She also likely feel hot flashes suddenly and have some mood swings. All of these are pretty normal. Oh my, there's no need to feel down. I'll prescribe a few vi vitamins and prenatal care pills, which will help minimize those effects. Haley, there's still time. We can drop this thing here. Oh, hi, Maru. Dr. Harvey, I, I got the material you requested. Oh, hi, Nino. Emily and Haley. I'm sorry, I didn't know that you are in a consultancy right now. Ha, huh, perfect timing. Thank you very much, Maru. Let's see, literally already, just from this room, half the town knows that Haley's pregnant. I asked Maru to bring me these maternity map books and magazines for you and Nino. You'll find them helpful as first-time parents. Ugh, I hate reading. Okay, is, this, is there anything you do like doing? Now, now, Haley. They are, in fact, quite easy to read and understand. I'm sure you'll even find them enjoyable. <laughs> it's just like picture books with, like, beers for baby. Haley, I thought you said you could be a responsible Responsible. Okay, Emily, now it's not- I, I'll- I will talk to her about this, not your place to speak up. I'm actually getting concerned. My poor wife. All right, honey. All for our baby. I mean, yeah, please don't smoke cigarettes or drink alcohol. Splendid. Nino and Haley, don't hesitate to contact me. I'll happily answer any further questions. Or you can also ask Maru. She's pretty knowledgeable as well. That's correct. And Haley, you can also ask me questions you feel more comfortable asking me. You know, me being a woman as well. Um... 
All right. <laughs> He's like, why is the nurse talking to me? And congratulations to you and Nino. We then went home with a lot of maternity material to read. Homework time. It's, it's time to be serious about this. I need to be, I need to lock in, okay? This is getting real. <laughs> 25 things to do when preparing for fatherhood. Build healthy eating habits. Oh, it's so fucking over already. Get regular exercise. It's like, I can't, I can't. I can't do this. I'm a Twitch streamer. I'm not built to be a father. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. I can't do this yet. I'm cooked, bro. The first four bullet points and I'm cooked, man. I still say things like it's Jova. What father says it's Jova? <laughs> Harvey, man, I'm not ready. How's Haley and the baby doing? Don't be afraid to ask any questions. And when's the next bus out of town? Am I right? <laughs> Am I right, Harvey? I'm not freaking out. I'm going to be a dad. Emily, why were you being so weird about all this? Hi, Nino. I had a feeling I'd be seeing you today, we literally just saw each other. Haley may not be the most responsible person, so please take care of her. Listen, Emily, I understand you're being like a caring sister, but you're kind of being a little overbearing. Haley's like a grown woman. I'm sure she'll be fine. Did you wipe your boots off before coming in? Sorry, I just cleaned the floor. God. No Kent really gets to you, huh? I can't leave Haley. Look what happens to a wife when her husband leaves, bro. I can't leave Haley. Uh, excuse me, honey. I'm having these hot flashes and I need to cool myself. Here, wait, what if we, can we, can we just, do you think she'll like milk? Drink this. Why did you bring me this? Oh, my bad, my bad, sorry. Ice cream. Here, cool yourself off of this. How did you know I wanted this? Husband's intuition. Why does my sister need to come with us to our appointment? I don't know, it was weird, right? It, like, it's not just me, it was weird. Oh, Alex, you stay away from my wife. Oh, sorry. I got angry before I real. I thought they were having like an argument or something. Oh, hi, Alex. Uh, hi. It's been a while. Is he still jealous? Has it? Um, do you, you, do you stay away from my pregnant wife? I swear to God, bro. Uh, I guess so. Time flies. How have you been? I've been good. Uh, are you pregnant? I am. Nino and I are so happy. Is he gonna like, is he gonna lose his mind? Could you imagine finding out the woman you used to be in love with is pregnant? Oh, dude's about to meet Shane by the cliff sides, man. That's great news. Congratulations, Haley. Oh, I thought we, I, I, I thought we were gonna have some like great standoff argument or something. Oh, thanks, Alex. You're always so sweet. Oh, just stab the knife a little bit harder in Haley. Oh, hi, honey. Look, I just bumped to Alex and told him the wonderful news. I'm gonna be an average uh, New Zealand Australian dad. You fucking stay away from my wife. She's pregnant. She didn't want you anymore. Hi, Nino. That's right. Congratulations to both of you. Well, honey, I will return home and, and see you there. Why is everyone in our business, dude? It was nice seeing you, Alex. Likewise, Haley. Take good care of yourself and the baby. Are we gonna have a little like man-to-man -man talk? Nino? Oh yeah. What is it, Alex? She's a good girl. Take care of her and the child. You stay away from my wife. I think surface level, it's really sweet. Deeper level, it's a little weird. Good girl? Why are you calling my wife that? That's a weird thing to call another man's wife, bro. It would be fine if he wasn't saying this in the context that he's obviously thinking that should have been me in Nino's seat. And in that chance, uh, move on, bro. Go after like Penny or someone. Come on. I know that. You don't have to rub it in. Now leave me alone. You stay away from my wife. Oh, wow. He's quick. Hey, kid. Congratulations on having a child with such a fine looking young lady. See, Pam is being a real one. She gets it. That's all I need. Sweetie, I have a big pink cake craving. Can you please get me one? Yes, my love. Anything for you. Do you like respond differently with pink cake? Because she's really been craving these. Oh, Nino. Oh, she's so cute. I was craving this so much smooch. Oh, she's so sweet. Smooch. <laughs> Is that a coconut? I love this. Coconuts remind me of the warm, sunny days of the beach. When I hold one, I feel like I'm there, even when it's raining. What the heck? Is this new dialogue? 1.6? I've never seen that before. When I arrived home, Haley was already in bed. I was also exhausted, so I went to sleep. No, no, she's in bed. Now's your time to go to Zuzu City. <laughs> Catch the next bus out of here. Go get milk, as they say. After midnight, I heard a big noise from the 
the kitchen. Did Emily break into our house? She's in the kitchen getting rid of all the pink cake that I got Haley. She's gonna try steal our baby before it's even popped out. Oh wait, no, that's, that's just Haley having midnight cravings. Ugh. Where is it? Oh, darling, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. It's okay. I thought Alex was, uh, I thought Alex was breaking in. I already had my sword off shotgun ready to go. I have a terrible craving. It woke me up and it's driving me crazy and I can't find anything in the kitchen. Honey, would it be too much to ask for you to go get some food? Pretty please? I know it's very late, but the baby and I need it. Please, I'm craving one of Gus's specials and dessert. I hope Gus is up for this. Are you out of your mind? Look at the time. Are you... I imagine speaking to a pregnant woman that way. No. All right. All right. I hope Gus is up for this. <laughs> Even that's not that nice. She's pregnant with your child, bro. It should be... Yes, of course, my love. I'll go get that for you right away. You will? Oh, Nino. Thank you. I want a deluxe fruit salad and a big slice of star drop pink cake. Oh, I was just, I was just gonna get some Taco Bell or something. Is Gus even gonna be open at this time? This is a little creepy. I'm also a little worried about leaving my pregnant wife home alone. Yeah, we can make the run for it, bro. Do it. He was really tempted there. He was looking over at the bus. You know, that now would be the perfect time to make the run. Hi, Gus. Hello. Oh, what, what are you doing here at the shower? Uh, is everything okay? Haley has a food craving. Well, it can't be helped. Come on in. Oh, Gus would be the guy that help out. As soon as that baby's born, Gus would be there day one, dropping off like a month's worth of frozen foods, bro. Oh, don't worry. I was up experimenting with a new recipe. You and Haley are appreciated customers and beloved members of the community. Um, Haley canonically never steps foot in the star drop saloon but sure you yeah, know appreciated customers yeah have a seat i'll prepare the dishes in no time gus prepared the requested food surprisingly quickly despite this i could tell by the smell that the quality was the same as always hey you are nino it'll be 250 gold i gave gus a little extra for the trouble and set off to the farm this isn't nino this is your last chance make a break for it zuzu city is just a nice 45 minute drive away it's your last chance Oh, what the hell, Krobus? What the fuck? What is happening? Is the witch sporting these? Rasmus! Well, why, why are they doing this at night? What the fuck is happening? Nino, what are you doing here at this hour? It's dangerous. Dark forces are known to roam the valley at night. Are they? We're at a bus stop. I wouldn't be at a bus stop at night either, actually. Fair enough. Your wife, you say? I see. Still, you must be more careful. Had I not been nearby, by, you would have been in deep trouble. My ex-wife is extremely jealous of happy couples, especially if they have children. Oh, oh no. Oh, I hope she doesn't take the child away from us and turn it into a dove. No, that would be aw awful if she, if she turned my child into a dove an act of true love like you did here surely set her off go on now your wife and unborn child are waiting for you this is a really stressful pregnancy for Haley. sweetheart after you left i became so worried if something had happened to you yeah i mean i did just get surrounded by like the entire every single monster in the skull cavern out by the bus stop Haley, did you know they spawn at the bus stop how could i have sent you out there i i'm so sorry Haley, I would fight all 400 levels of the Skull Cavern just for you. I was so selfish. You still got me my food? Oh, Nino, you went through all that trouble for me. I'll promise I'll make it up for you. I love you. Oh, she's so cute. Ah, oh, the food was delicious. Me and our baby are so satisfied. Come on, honey. Let's go back to bed. Haley and I slept peacefully for the rest of the night. Oh, just went back to sleep, huh? Yeah, I guess she is. She is pregnant. So I guess, you know, that's understandable. Oh, would you look at that? Look, I was going to make a coffee this morning, but we don't have any milk. L Haley. A star drop. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of contraception. I... Well, it's a little late for that. Thank you again for what you did for me last night. I I, I just saw that the the, the we, we had no milk, so I, I'm just gonna head off to I'm gonna head to to Piers. Go 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 The bus to Calico Desert out. No, no, let me on. <laughs> Why does no store in this town sell condoms? I guess back to the farmhouse we go. Ugh. 
Hey, Haley, they didn't have any milk. Hi, honey. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, no, it looks, it's great. It's awesome. Do you know the bus doesn't work, Haley? Don't ask how I know that. Now that I realize it, it's been a while since I've taken my camera to the forest. Okay, but like, don't go by yourself. It's a waste not to take advantage of the lighting. I'll take my camera there right now. Uh, okay, you're just going out of the forest by yourself? Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. I'll be careful. Uh, it's so sweet of you to worry for me. Smooch. Mwah. I'm just letting my pregnant wife go to a forest by herself? Dude, spring onion harvest is coming in nicely. I feel like I should be there for her. I found an interesting rock. Vince. And I found a pretty flower. Oh, children, that's wonderful. I hope you learned something today about the treasures of this valley. The children. Huh? Who was there? Is it a bear? Wow, Vince. Calling my pregnant wife a bear. Look, it's Miss Haley. Oh, hello, Haley. Um, uh, hi. Is she Miss Haley? Why is her tummy all round? I swear to God, I'm going to see if how far I can throw this child into the river. Vincent. Because there is a baby in her stomach. I heard Auntie Marnie and Shane saying that she is, um, now, now, children, Haley is pregnant. That means she's, she is going to have a baby. Well, is that true, Miss Haley? Y yes. I heard my mother saying that Gus and Emily were telling that to everyone at the saloon. Does no one in this town have any privacy? God, I feel so betrayed. Congratulations. You and Nino must be very happy. We are. Thank you. Can I touch your baby, Miss Haley? <laughs> Vincent, that is something very rude to ask. No, that's all right. Come, you can feel the baby if you want. Oh, this is actually a very touching moment. Really? Thank you, Miss Haley. Oh, this is actually very cute. Can we just adopt Vince instead? I bet his hands are all sticky. All right, children. Remember, we have one more spot to check for your assignment today. We're very close to it. So why don't you two go ahead? Okay. They're a handful, but they're good kids. I hope they didn't bother you too much. No, I, uh, no, I, I was just thinking. Is this what being a mother and raising a child is like? Well, I can't say because I'm not a mother yet. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. <laughs> I hope to become one one day, but I know dealing with children is a lot of work, but it's very rewarding to feed their little minds with knowledge so that they grow into good adults. That's a great satisfaction. Something wrong, Haley. It's difficult to explain. I've never felt anything like this before. She just starts making out with a penny. I want the best for my baby and would do anything for it. That's wonderful. You'll be a very good mother. I don't know. This feeling described as the love for your baby and it proves that you're more than ready to do everything necessary for their well-being. But you know the type of person I am. Nonsense. I've always known you as a kind person. I like that Penny is being more supportive than Emily was. Miss Penny, we've been finished collecting the different types of rocks. Rock collecting? I want to come. All right, I'll be there with you. It was nice talking with you, Haley. It has been a long time. Penny, wait. She's going to confess her love. I want to take a photo with you and the children. Oh, that's so cute. What a splendid idea. Children, come here for a moment. Say goat cheese. I returned earlier because I realized I had something to do. Oh, I did take some beautiful pictures. I'll show them to you later. I'm going to be reading the maternity magazines in my room, sweetie. Oh, she learned how to read. From then on, Haley became very dedicated to reading about maternity information. Later, she showed me the developed photos. I swear to God, if we get to see... Si That's so cute. Oh my God, my sweet, sweet wife. Do I have that special glow expecting woman is said to have? Oh my God, my heart. Yes, you do, my queen yes but yes you do my love bro why is this so sweet when i got those hundreds of youtube comments being like nino please play the Haley pregnancy mod i didn't think it would be this cute and i i tried to i tried to leave do you want the baby to be a girl or a boy i think i want it to be a girl i want to be a girl dad such a nice photo eh honey i'm glad i took out my camera that day congratulations to you and Haley. it's so pleasing to see that this town is growing lewis is like yes yes another person and I can steal taxes from. I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. <laughs> Harvey's like, if you and Haley could pop out a few more kids, then maybe I'll start to turn a profit. I'm going to socialize in town for a bit today. You have fun, my love. How much does birth cost? He'll be rich after the baby is born. Does childcare cost things? Birth costs a lot in America. In the US, it's like 30K. Are you fucking serious? Giving birth costs 
$18,000 on average? If I was fucking giving birth and they hit me with an $18,000 bill, I'm gonna just put the baby back up at this point. That's insane. How do you afford- Do you have to go into debt to have a child? I don't think it costs a cent in New Zealand. Unless you go private. Yeah, it's completely free. C-sections cost almost 20 20k. What are you paying for? Like, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not to shit on doctors or anything, but isn't the body just gonna do it anyway? The baby can't stay in there. You gonna charge me $18,000 to have a child, you sicko? I know that being a farmer is pretty tiring work, work, but don't overdo it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, Harvey. Wait, why is my pregnant wife here? I'm going to socialize in town for a bit today. Is she going to see Auntie he Emily? Oh, what do you want to do? Kiss. Cute. I've been waiting so long for you to do that. Emily, uh, Emily? I didn't just call my pregnant wife a different name. Oh, the next cutscene. Ha, Nino. Emily, where are you? You talking to me from the void? Where is she? Oh, she's behind the tree. I'm here to see my sister. Is she home? What shit is Emily gonna cause this time? Ha, Haley. Emily, wh what are you doing here? Oh, I brought several things for you. Come and see. It's gonna be like crystals to ward off bad juju vibes during the during the birth. I made you the special high protein salad made with organic quinoa. Oh, bro, I can't imagine craving anything less when pregnant than quinoa. And this smoothie is made with the richest vegetables I can find. It's very nutritious. I found this video of the best meditation positions for expecting women. Oh, Emily, Emily, Emily. Does she look like a girly who's into meditation? Em Emily. I wrote this prayer to y'all but feel to hang it in by- Oh, oh, now she's pushing religion. Wow, get out of my house. This crystal will channel all the positive energy into you and the baby. Told you. Huh? I'm sensing a bit of negative energy here. She's like, hmm, I think something might be off with, as Haley's like crying. Oh, <laughs> dispel it now. Witch! Emily, please stop. H Haley, what's wrong? Bro, I'm I'm coming in here. All of these. You know that I'm not into all this stuff. Dear sister, I'm trying to help you. Read that in a more monotone voice and it becomes very sinister. Almost cult-like even. Dear sister, I'm trying to help. I know you're the type of person who will need all the help and guidance they can get. I'm doing good on my own. Thank you. I'm not so sure about that. Oh God, is she actually gonna... This is getting like weirdly hereditary, you know? Like, is there gonna be a cult of old people looking after this child? Becoming a mother. There is an enormous challenge, and I worry you don't have the maturity to. Huh? Emily's like actually trying to shame us into her cult. This is crazy. What is that supposed to mean? Do you think I'm not capable of this? Do you think I will not be a good mother? Hayley, no, that that's not what I- Why? Why have you always treated me like a child? I'm not a little girl anymore, and it's my baby. Well, it's our, it's our baby, it's our baby. My responsibility. Well, our, our responsibility. I had to learn that through a lot of, through Gus, really. Mine! I mean, it's our, it's our, it's our. Our child. I will decide what's best for us. I mean, I mean, I can also help in them. Also, I'm here too. I've never seen Haley so angry before. I don't know, kind of getting me a bit riled up. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, damn. Oh no, wait, no. Please go, Emily. Oh, she's the boss. Yes, I know she's the boss. I'm only, I'm doing it for the bit. I know she's the boss. Haley, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh no, oh my poor wife. I attempted my best to comfort Haley until she calmed down. Uh, this is gonna need a lot of pink cakes. I wanna go talk to my wife and also Emily. I wanna see if they like talk about this. Oh shit, do you think they're talking it out? Hi honey, I'm mostly here just to visit Emily. Gus told me what you did for Haley last night. That was so sweet of you. I'll remind her to thank Gus as well. I never meant to hurt my sister. I love her and worry for her. Hi honey, I'm mostly here. Okay, so I think the game's a little bit freaked out, but if you love her, why'd you push the weird Yoba stuff? I just wish my sister sister started believing in me. Does she say anything special on a rainy day? I hope you've been practicing your moves. Tomorrow's a flower dance. Do you think she dances while pregnant? Girl is pregnant and still wants to dance with you? I know, isn't that so cute? I wonder if Emily would dance with me? You two would be good for each other. You know that, Clint? Look, she's still there. She's still hanging out and she's pregnant. Be my dance partner? My days of being flower queen are so over, so it's a bit of sweet dance for me. What? Why can't you be flower queen? But yes, I'm just just enjoying the scenery. That's my pregnant wife, you freak. Oh, she actually does dance while pregnant. That's so cute. Oh, next cutscene. Oh, hi, honey. 
What's wrong, Haley? It's it's nothing, sweetie. Oh, okay, okay. I can't stop thinking about what I said to my sister. It's just that she's so overbearing. Yeah, you know what? You had every right to say what you said, okay? Since our parents left, she won't leave me alone and will always insert herself into everything I decide. This baby made me feel something I've never felt before. It also made me think I'm doing something really important that is genuinely mine. So I want to do my best. But she keeps thinking that I can't do it right. She's always been like this. When our parents left, she disapproved of my pursuit of a modeling career? Saying it would go against their wishes? What? You did what? Wife law drop? But guess what? They're not here anymore. They discarded us like garbage. But despite everything, Emily has always been there for me. Something I can't say about our parents. Honey, you are suffering. You should try to patch things up with Emily. Honey, Emily is part of your family and cares for you. You should talk to her. Okay, these are these are the these are the same thing. I'm saying the same thing. I'll go the second one. She probably admonish me, calling me childish and immature as always. Did I, what? You think so, honey? What did I? I think. What? I don't think. What did I say? You're right. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, I'm so right. What did I say? I'll try and talk to her today. I could come with you if you if you like. Yeah, what the hell? I'm not going to let her go by herself. Thank you, sweetheart. I'd appreciate it if you came with me. Just by being there, your presence gives me a lot of strength. Hi, sisters. Hi, James. This is Orkies. About what I said, I want to say... Oh. <laughs> Why don't we go and sell at the house? I'll make some tea. No, Emily, she's not allowed any drugs while she's pregnant. Emily, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I'm sorry too, Haley. It was wrong of me to impose my personal tastes on you. And above all, I was wrong for doubting you. Huh? Later that day, I got to talk with Harvey at the saloon. He mentioned that you've been asking him and Maru many questions requesting more information of us about your pregnancy and maternity, which tells me that you've been actually reading their material. I've been very unfair to you, and I'm sorry. I understand you want to do things your way, and I will support you. I love you, dear sister, and I only want the best for you. See, once again, if you read it monotone, it becomes very scary. I love you, dear sister, and I only want what's best for you. Oh, Emily, thank you. I love you too. What's that? This arrived today, Haley. It's a letter from mom and dad, and it's addressed to you? This is like the first communication they've had with them in 20 years. Gasp. She can run quick for a pregnant woman. To our dearest little daughter, Haley. We hope this letter finds you well. We know our travels have been difficult for you and Emily, but there isn't a day when we don't think of you. As such, we are overjoyed by the news that we will soon become grandparents. Although we will lament being unable to be with you when our grandchild arrives, know that you're with us in our hearts. It gives us great comfort and happiness knowing that you're all right and have already found an extraordinary person to spend your life with and form a family. We both look forward to the day we return and be together as a family again. We know you have grown into a strong, confident, and wonderful young woman, and that you'll always make the right decisions. We couldn't be more proud of you, Haley. Love now and always, mum and dad. Yeah, they love you enough to send you a letter, but not to visit you in 20 years. They haven't forgotten. Who told them? Do you think Emily just like wrote that? Oh my God, she's kissing her on the cheek. Oh my God, that's so cute. Do you think Emily just like quickly scribbled it up before like the, before Haley came over? I was glad Haley and Emily patched things up. Haley was undoubtedly delighted afterwards. I don't believe that it was from her real parents. I think Emily wrote that letter. Haley is humming happily to herself. The last time when I saw Haley this happy was when she announced that you she was gonna marry you. Cool. So I guess that I guess they're good again. Hi, Nino. I got a great idea for my sister. No, Emily, stop getting involved. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll love it this time. Did you think that the last three times too? I still want to run it by you. Come to my house when you have time and I'll explain it. See you soon. Okay, fine. What do you, what do you got? What is it? Like a christening? As you know, Haley's due date is coming fast. So I thought about organizing a baby shower for her. Uh-oh. That actually sounds like a good idea. I'm planning to invite all the mothers from Pelican Town so they can share their experience with my sister because it'll also be an excellent opportunity for her to connect with the rest of the community. What do you think? I knew it agree. I need you to give Gus this list. It contains all the food necessary for catering the event. Also, I need you to speak with Caroline. She had a quite a few ideas for the floral arrangements of the Luau Festival, so I want her help on this. Wait, what the hell? New journal entry. It's a shame that the bus at the Calico Desert is out of service. Otherwise, I would have asked you to contact my friend Sandy. What? What? I want Sandy. I think that's it, Nino. I handle the invitations the organizing. And remember, keep this as a surprise for Haley. Wait, no. I want Sandy. That sounds like a great idea. I have things to do now. I'm getting the Sandmeister, bro. Give me the bus. 
So now if we go to Emily's, we should get the cutscene and it should say Sandy will come to the baby shower. Go see Sandy at a shop in Calico Desert? Don't mind if I do. Go see Caroline and go see Gus. Oh, okay. We actually have a bit of a quest line that we need to do. That's crazy. What is this? It's Farmer Nino. Hey, isn't your wife's due date coming soon? How do you know that? That's a weird thing to say. Pierre's like, hey, isn't your wife due to give birth in 23 days, 7 hours and 42 minutes and 26 seconds? If you want to stock up on the baby products, you've come to the right place. Oh. You're here to see Caroline? I'm always here to see Caroline. She's at the back of the sunroom with Abby. Hey, will you think about it? If you buy in bulk, I might even give you a discount. So the more you buy, the more you save. Why is everyone trying to profit off of my child? <sighs> this is so boring. This mod is so in debt. Now, now, Abby. You promised to stay. You'd help me with the plans in my sunroom. Doesn't look very sunny, though, Caroline. Think about that. You know, our family has a long history of strong affinity with things that grow. My mother and grandmother had a deep connection with nature and a gift for caring for plants. Caroline's like, and your father's really into, into making potions. And I hear the same from our extended family. So I'm sure you also have this gift. Some people said the gift was so strong in your grandmother that they said she could hear magic coming out from the trees. <laughs> That's just the wizard, bro. He just hangs up there. Huh? Magic, you say? Oh, hi, Nino. Why is she blushing? Hi, Nino. Amy and I are just taking care of my plants. What can we do for you? A baby shower for Haley. That's a magnificent idea. Yeah, bring some of your special tea, Caroline. We're gonna need it. Excuse me. Does Abby have a crush on me? Oh my god. The death that this mod has gone into is crazy. Abby, where are you going? I just remembered Sebastian had also asked my help for something. I I I'll be right back, mum. Dude, Alex and Abby? It's because I'm dressed up like Gerard Way. Anyway, Nino, I'd be happy to help. What does Emily need? I don't know. She didn't even tell me that. Oh my, I'm flattered that Emily thinks so highly of my floral arrangements. But if I'm honest, I'd say that Haley's were truly the best in our first luau festival. Oh, that was the year before you arrived. I remember the whole town came together to organize the event for the governor who was visiting. As you can imagine, the festival was a resounding success and became a tradition in this town. My, my, how much time has passed since then. And now it's hard to imagine this community without you. Nino, you've been good to this town and I'm truly happy for you and Haley. I'll gladly do my best for the floral arrangements. Uh, okay. Well, that was a hell of a lore drop. It was nice to talk to Caroline. Emily will be glad to get her help. Dude, she's in her room sulking. Is Abby, like, actually upset that I'm having a baby with someone else? I've never even spoken to you. Hey, Nino. Um, I really wish you and Haley the best. I'm sorry for congratulating you so late. I guess all the women just want me. Hey, did you hear about the old bus? Yep, I'm back on the saddle, kid. <laughs> Feels nice, especially after a 12 pack. Let's go see uh, Gus then. What, Pam? No, 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 Pam. You're meant to be driving me to Calico Desert soon. Hi, Nino. Welcome in. Is Gus gonna tell me he's got a crush on me too? Emily mentioned something about it. Do you have the list? Jesus Christ, Pam, slow down. I know, you got a, I know you've got a machine for a liver, but I don't think it can work that fast. I see. Excellent. It would be my pleasure to prepare the food for the event. Hey, <laughs> kid. Life is good for you, isn't it? No, this is where Pam tells me she's got a crush on me. And that's when I really have to reconsider my life choices. You know that ma magnificent looking lass are expecting a little one. <gasps> oh, I used to be young and good looking too, you know. Used to be, Pam? <laughs> now look at me. All, wa <gasps> all washed up. I guess I'm gonna need another one. Stronger this time. Don't you think you've had enough? Especially because it's 12 p.m., Pam. The saloon just opened. And why should I stop? Everything is hunky-dory for everyone but me. Oh, that girl's so lucky to have you. Oh my god, why does everyone in this town want me, bro? I wish I'd found someone like you. Perhaps that way I wouldn't have ended up like this. It would be an embarrassment for my penny. <laughs> yeah, no, if you're looking for a new stepfather, Pam, I can step up. My penny. Did you know your pretty wife used to be friends with her? What? Really? They are inseparable when they were left. Little. Oh, that's why they had the really cute hot event where he took the, where she took the photo. So they stopped talking in middle school. I mean, that just happens, though. Penny never said why. <gasps> but I guess that lovely young lady found other interests by showing off her. What kind of modeling career did Haley have? Also, um, that's my wife. That's enough, Pam. 
That was a great sprite. I've never seen that before. Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to say that. It must have been tough for my baby girl. Yeah, but there's no point talking shit about my baby girl. Even if she never said anything. <laughs> Wait, don't get me wrong, kid. I am truly happy for you. You are all right. I wonder why Haley never told me about her past friendship with Penny or her past work experience. Oh, this is going to be a really awkward bus ride to Calico. Oh, hey, Pam. Oh, fuck. I have to get on this bus after she's like, like 12 beers deep. Oh my god, I survived! Alright, so the last person we need to see is, uh, Sandy. Hello, sweetie! Sandy, what did I tell you about calling me that? You, didn't, you know I'm a taken man. It's so nice of you to come to visit me. What's that? Emily sent you? Oh, how sweet of her. To organize a baby shower for her sister and your wife? It's so typical of her to take the initiative to organize events. Didn't you know? Emily was the one who first had the idea to make the Luau Festival at the Valley? Oh! She prefers not to say anything about it because the cl she claims it was all a group effort, but that's just her being humble. Back then, she asked me for some special flowers, and since the bus hadn't broken down yet, I wasn't able to help her. She probably wants the same flowers for the event now. Here, sweetie, give these to her. Sandy sold me a bunch of unique looking and fragrant flowers. I'm so happy for you and Haley. This baby shower will be something to remember. He! What does that mean? I'd love to attend, but I have the shop to run. Oh, come on, Sandy. Get out and about in a while. This is a once in a lifetime thing. Come on. I'll tell you what, honey. I can't make any promises, but I'll do my best to be there. Why was it? Why was she giving me the eyes for that? What the hell? Sandy is such a sweetheart. I hope she can attend Haley's baby shower. Hey, kid. Please forgive my ramblings. I didn't mean anything by them. I mean, you you just slut shamed my wife, but sure. We're apparently, we're meant to enter the town at one o'clock. Psst. Nino, over here. She's speaking to me from the void. Again! <laughs> Is she gonna be in another tree? Yeah, she was in another tree. I got word from Gus and Caroline that they've spoken to you and have their preparations ready. Have you talked to Sandy? Oh yeah, here's the flowers. I forgot about those. Great, these are precisely the flowers I wanted. Everything is almost ready. I'm so excited. Oh, what will be wonderful, sister? She heard! Run! Get back to the tree! Haley, she spawned out of nowhere! You seem to be really excited about something. Care to tell me what it is? That's right. I was talking to Nino about some color arrangements and thought they would look great on the baby. Oh, how thoughtful of you, Emily. I just came from seeing Harvey. He said my pregnancy is almost up to term, so our baby will be born any day now. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh, God. That's so wonderful, Haley. And Emily, I also wanted to tell you that the salad and smoothie you gave me helped curb my hunger and cravings. Can you make me more, please? That's crazy. She liked the quinoa? Of course, sister. Wow, darling. I'm heading back to the farm. Mwah. Is she gone? Phew, you better go to her. I'll handle everything from now on, Nino. Expect to hear from me soon. Emily has everything she needs. I just have to wait for her word? Dude, so this is it. I want to be like my big brother when I grow up. No, you don't. Vince, you want to be, um... Successful. During the night, Haley gave birth to a baby boy. What? A boy? Oh, I'm not a girl dad? Oh, that's actually kind of... No, no, I'm still happy. I'm still happy, I guess. Dude, I have a child. That's it. Fuck, I have a child. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm happy. I have a child. I'm, 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 a, I'm aesthetic. I'm aesthetic. Oh, but I don't... I'm not a girl dad, but at least it's a boy. You were locked from the final event? What? Haley gave birth? Too soon? Close the game. During the night, uh, Haley gave birth to a baby boy. Okay, that's kind of an issue because Haley giving birth to a baby boy means we're locked out of the final heart event. But we kind of did some hacker modding to make sure that doesn't happen. So praying that doesn't happen. Hear me out, Nino Jr. <laughs> you thought there was too much when there was just one of me? Now there's a second. Oh God, she's still pregnant. Nah, that's just how the mod works. Hey Nino, that was a close one. I think my sister didn't expect anything yet. Anyway, everything is ready for Haley's baby shower. Come by the house at 2 p.m. on a sunny day. See you both soon. Okay, hopefully this works. This should be the final cutscene, and it's gonna be Nino Jr.'s baby shower. God, what an awful name. I'm sorry. Oh, it worked! Darling, what is this? Why have you brought me here? Haley, come over. It's a surprise. Close your eyes first. What are you both planning? Now, come on in. 
Oh, everyone's here. Pam's like, it should have been me. Surprise, Haley. What's Maru doing here? Maru, do you have a daughter that I don't know about? Everyone, this baby shower is for you. We also want to welcome you to Pelican Town's exclusive mother's club. We are aware of all the challenges that come with motherhood. As such, we're here to support you and advise you as you should need it. Dad, child, we're so happy for you and Nina. So when your sister told us about this party she organized was about, we couldn't refuse. You're one of us now. One of us. One of us. I couldn't have done all of this without Nino. Do you think Pam's gonna make a drunken scene? She's gonna like throw bottles around being like, it should have been me. Oh, do you think she's gonna be mad that Penny's not here? Oh, honey. Come on, this is a party. Let's enjoy ourselves. Haley, get ready to do a keg. We all began enjoying the party. Haley and I mingled with other attendants. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Haley, don't drink from that punch. I saw what Pam was doing to it earlier. Oh, the guy who guards the room at the back of my shop agreed to watch over it for me. They are definitely robbing the place. Haley, dad, so lovely to see you. Your wonderful spouse was kind enough to invite me. I have to say, you look even more beautiful as an expecting mother. Oh, thanks, Sandy. Heading on your wife? Yeah, you know what? Sandy's allowed. Hey, kid, I hope you have no hard feelings about what happened at the saloon before. No, you just called my wife a whore. You know, that's for... Yeah, no, I've just... I'll just try to forget that, Pam. Don't worry about it, kid. I won't put my foot in my mouth like I did before. I haven't had a drink today yet. For that, I'll go to the saloon after this is all over. Hey, honey. What are you guys talking about? Uh, you don't want to know. Pam has some opinions about your past work experience. Oh, nothing important, young lady. Enjoy your party. Pam, Emily told me that she also invited Penny. Oh, shit. Law. Drama. Was she not able to come? She said she had something important to do at the library. I don't know if she'll be here. Yeah. Oh, I see. And these breathing exercises will help you prepare for childbirth. Maru, you're going to be shocked when you see what's waiting at home. They seem familiar. Yeah, I know from where. They're from the meditation video I gave you, Haley. Oh, always, always right. Oh, oh, she always has to be correct, Emily. So you've watched it? Um, I was just curious about it. Some of them looked good for de-stress. Oh, Haley. You know, sometimes modern science rediscovers the benefits of ancient wisdom and traditions. It's surprising to see how old practices occasionally hold valuable knowledge? I guess it's expected. Scientific progress can't move forward without looking back. What are you on? I've, what, I'm, I've zoned the fuck out. What are they talking about? Oh, how interesting. Yeah, Haley, let's ditch this joint. This is a boring party. Look, Carolyn's already getting... Oh, you can't see. Caroline's getting into drugs over there. Look, they're having a little jiggy over there. They're having a little party, a little dance-off. Caroline, Emily told me you made floor arrangements. They're so beautiful. Thank you, Haley. It's my pleasure and honor. Indeed. They're as beautiful as the one Taylor made in our first luau. Oh, that was so long ago. I had a flash of inspiration then. Do you think Sandy's just like, oh, go, wow, ruff, ruff, right now? Alex always said you had an excellent eye for detail, dear child. Oh, dude, I bet Alex is losing her mind, his mind at the moment. And how's Alex been doing? I have the feeling that he's been avoiding me. I wonder why, Haley. Uh, you know how this is. Even if what was between you two ended long ago, some feelings will still linger. Yeah, I'm really enjoying that we're talking about um my wife's ex-boyfriend at our baby shower. You getting to marry to Nino, now becoming a mother, may have given him a new perspective. And he needs time to come to terms with his feelings. Soon it came time for Haley to open the presents. Dude, I hope we get a coffee machine. I made this wooden toy horse for your child, Haley. It's sturdy, durable, and fun. Oh, that's actually really cute. Oh god, Maru, put down a bomb! I worked on this special baby food processor. It will help you save time preparing the baby meals. How nice you've done so much for me already. Thank you, Maru. I got you this parenting book. It's the first of a series, and if you're interested, I could lend you more later. Thank you so much, Caroline. Also, Abby said she couldn't come because she already had plans with Sebastian, but she asked me to give you and Nino this. Oh god, it's a bomb! <laughs> a second one. A wooden sword? My daughter likes all this stuff very much. I never understood why, but I think it'll be a nice toy for a child when they're older. Dude, Abby is so pissed it's not mine and her child. Um, okay. Listen, I think Nino Jr. is gonna love this. Dad, child, I know you like baking sweets, so I put my best baking recipes in this notebook. Oh, Mrs. Mona. Thank you. She's like, and if you ever need Nino to go, put my cyanide recipe at the back. It works great on George. Aren't we missing Pam's gift? She just brings out a massive fucking box of Jack Daniels. Oh, uh, 
I made it! Thanks, Yova, you're able to make it, Penny! Hello, everyone! I apologize for my tardiness and bringing my mother and I's present for Haley. Gunda had a lot of trouble getting a copy in pristine condition. Gosh, this is... I saw Penny hand to Haley a children's book that had a pretty blonde princess on its cover. The Wondrous Adventures of the Golden Princess. I remember how you used to love this book, Haley, and how we read it together so many times when we were little. Wait, this is really cute. I hope you can read this book to your child and that they enjoy it as much as we did. Little Nino Jr. is going to be the cutest princess in the valley. Oh, Penny, thank you. Everyone seemed to have fun and enjoyed the event. Eventually, the baby shower ended and all the guests went home. Thank you for organizing this for me, sister. It was my pleasure, Haley. Will you need help cleaning the house? Go. you are nine months pregnant. No, no, I got this. You go and relax with Nino. I'll see you later. It's still early. Can we go for a walk at the beach? The beach is so calm and romantic. I used to only like it here during the sunny days of summer. I never imagined I would come to appreciate things more profound than the surface. It's all thanks to you, Nino. Becoming pregnant for the first time has been a whole adventure. Soon our baby will be born and our lives will change. But there's no one else I want at my side other than you to face this. I love you, Nino. Oh, this is so cute. Haley's actually best girl. And I wouldn't mind going through all of these experiences a second time, you know. Haley, Willie's gonna hear everything. I can't wait for our child to arrive. That was so wonderful, sweetie. Thanks to you and my sister. And that's it. We've actually had the child already. I can't believe this. That was actually wholesome. I, I can't be a father. <laughs> I'm going to Zuzu.